Hello everyone, this is Firoz Nadav. In this video, I'm going to uh, talk about how to decide the strength of COPO mapping. The strength of COPO mapping uh, are 1, 2, 3, 1 being low, 2 being medium and 3 being uh, higher. Okay, so how to decide whether we have to go for 3, 2, 1. You see the engineering subjects, generally they have 6 modules and we are required to make 6 course outcomes. So each course outcome is catering each module. We have to make the course outcome such that it is catering entire things from module 1. Likewise CO2 for module 2, CO3 for module 3 etc. Now when we are mapping CO with PO and PSOs, we are deciding the strength. Here CO1 is mapped with PO1 with strength 3. CO2 is mapped with PO1 with strength 3. CO1 is mapped with PO2 with strength 2. CO1 is mapped with PO3 with strength 1. How to decide this? There are uh, various methods. So I will be talking about one of the methods which has been given by NPTEL NBA lecture. I will be talking about that. So when you are doing COPO mapping, you have to do the reverse engineering. Okay, you see here, PO1 is mapped with almost all of the COs. All of the COs are being mapped with PO1. So you have to do the reverse engineering. You have to do PO-CO mapping. So PO1 is mapped with CO1, CO2, CO3, CO4, CO5, CO6. So you see it is catering the 100% of the syllabus because we have we told you that CO1 is catering module 1. So this CO1 to CO6 is catering entire syllabus. So the PO1 we can say PO1 is catering the entire syllabus. So here it is 100%. So this percentage if it is more than 40 then we can say that it is level 3. Take the example of PO2. PO2 is mapped with CO1 and CO2, okay? CO1 is having 9 hours of lecture and CO2 is having 5 hours of lecture. So, total is 14, okay? PO2 is mapped with CO1 and CO2 means uh, it is making 14 hours of lecture, 14 divided by 39. 39 is the uh, entire uh, hours of lecture of the syllabus. So, 14 divided by 39 will give you 35 so it is less than 40 but more than 25 less than 40 more than 25 then the strength is 2 and take the example of PO3 PO3 is mapped with CO1 only and CO1 is having 9 hours of lecture 9 divided by 35 it will give you 9 divided by 35 it will give you 23% 23% which is less than 25 okay less than 25 it is having strength 1 this CO CO uh, PO3 mapping is having strength 1 okay so it is map it is only mapped with PO3 is only mapped with CO1 so in this way you have to decide the strength of CO PO mapping and this is one of the method uh, the professor also said in NBA lecture that you can decide any method but there has to be some uh, form of justification and that method should be uniformly followed in the disciplines of the engineering institute. Thank you.